Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, thank you for coming. Gracias por unirse a la clase a tiempo. We are about to start, so let's wait just for the rest. Let's see here. Okay, today we're going just to have a little bit of a review of what we studied last last week, okay? First of all, we are going to do that just to verify or clarify if you have any question, any doubt, any problem with the structures that we studied or the vocabulary. Then we are going just to review a topic that we just studied on Friday. And then we are going to start with the section uh, number two, okay? So we are going to, that's what we are going to do right now. Just let's see here. Okay, good evening, Rosa, Jose Arturo, Sandra Cecilia. Thank you for being here. Um, as I was saying before, we are going to start uh, with a little bit of a review from last week's class. Uh, we had this passive voice. That's what we studied last week. Also, we had landmarks. Uh, do you have or do you have right now any question about the passive voice in simple past? Or any doubt about that structure that we studied last week? Any question? Any doubt? No questions? Okay, remember, if you have any questions, let me know, or you can write it down. You can write uh, in the group or in the WhatsApp group, right? So we're about to start section two. Also, we studied, what else have we studied? The passive voice. And well, also this passive voice, we studied we had a lot of material about passive voice. And the past continuous and simple past, right? Do you have any question about past continuous versus simple past? Preguntas acerca del past continuous, el simple past. How do we use it? How can I know the structure or anything? Questions? No questions about that? Okay, good evening, Eric. Good evening. Let's see who else. Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. Jaime. Jaime Reyes. Jaime Hernandez. Carla Marino. Sandra Cecilia. Thank you for being here. So we were studying this yesterday. We are going just to have a little bit of a review. Let's see. Jose Arturo. Uh, do you remember how do we use the past continuous and simple past? Um, How do we use it? Uh, when we write uh, sentences, uh, in act, an action, the first action is is um, how is say interrumpir? Oh, sorry, teacher, I can hear you. I sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, interrupted. Interrupt. Uh huh. Um. With another another action. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see who else. Um, Sandra Cecilia, are you there, Sandra? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Can you give me a sentence with? Past continuous, please. Any sentence. Dígame una oración en past continuous. He was walking home. Aha, uh -huh, he was walking home. Okay, very good. And let's see who else. Eric, can you give me a sentence in simple past? Uh, <clears throat> I watch a movie. I watched a movie, very good, perfect, perfect. So if we combine this is when, for example, we were telling a story and uh, we were 
like trying to say something that we were doing and then that action was interrupted by another one, right? For example, while I was watching my favorite show, the, po the power went out or she was walking home when she saw her best friend. So the first one will be in past continuous and the action or the interruption will be in past, simple past. Also, we cited um, adverbs, right? A little bit of adverbs, coincidentally, miraculously, luckily, fortunately, suddenly, sadly, unfortunately, strangely, surprisingly, and unexpectedly. Do you have any questions about those adverbs? Preguntas? No questions. No okay. Question. Okay, perfect. And also we have this conversation. We check it really fast. That's why we I wanted to review uh, this topic, the present perfect continuous, because it was really fast that probably you might have some questions, but if you don't, we are going to jump to the other section, right? So the present perfect continuous, we use it to do what? ¿Quién sabe para qué usamos el present perfect continuous? Who knows that? Um, para referirnos a una acción que sigue. Ajá, que sigue dónde? Si es continuada en el, en el presente. Uh -huh. Se inició a anterior y continúa. Ok, an action that we started in the past, right? And we're still doing it, right? It's still relevant. Ok, for example, let's see. Jaime, Jaime Hernández Aguillón. Tell me, for how long have you been um, studying English? I'm studying English teacher uh, when I, I, I go to the school and Bachillerato. <laughs> Bachillerato in high school. So for how many for how many years have you been studying English? Let's say approximately. Yes. Around 30 years. Around 30 years? 20, 25 years. 25 years. Sporadically, but, right? Sporadically. But no, but no was is continuous. <laughs> Not continuously. Ah, exactly. Very good. But you started like 30 years ago and you're still doing it, right? You're still learning English, right? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Congratulations, Jaime. So that's how we uh, study the present perfect continuous. This is the structures that we studied. I shared this information with you. And also we had... Um, uh, uh, an activity, it's, it says, write a story about the following pictures. Imagine something that could have happened to them while they were doing that activity. Try to use the past continuous and the simple past. Um, did you do this activity or somebody did it? If you did, let me know just to check if you did something similar to this or if you chose one of the pictures and I will let you know if it is correct or not. If you didn't do it, it's okay, right? Because I think it was kind of complicated, but but if you try to do it, it's okay also. Did you do this activity or not? Um, yeah. Okay, uh, What? which of these I, pictures did you choose? I did it. Okay, which one of this one did you choose, Jose Arturo? Or what was the sentence that you wrote? Yeah, um, is it, they have a number, but it's the, the second in the, um, where they are dancing. Oh, yes, they are dancing, huh? And what happened to them when they were dancing? Um, I'm, I did a little conversation between two friends. Okay. Uh, about about this situation and and
Are you there, Jose Arturo? You kind of stuck. Probably your connection is really not very good right now. Can you hear me, Jose? You out. Oh, unfortunately, he got stuck. He had some connection problems, issue with technology again. Uh, I don't know if somebody else did something related to this activity. If you didn't do it or if you didn't have time, that's okay. Somebody else who would like to participate. Alguien más que lo haya hecho, si no, está bien. No one else? Okay. Rosa Esmeralda. Okay, Rosa Esmeralda. Uh, did you do something related to this activity? <laughs> yeah. uh, what well, did you sorry, write? Teacher, I lose my connections. Yes, exactly. Jose. Thank you for coming back. You got stuck. Probably you had an, uh, an issue with your connection, your internet. Uh, let's listen to Rosa and then we're going to try with you again, okay? Rosa, did you do something with this activity? What is the sentence that you wrote, Rosa Esmeralda? Or did you have any question? Okay. Rosa, are you there? Are you there, Rosa? No? Okay, Jose Arturo, go ahead with your conversation, <laughs> the conversation that you did. Okay. Um, Sandy and I was dancing and, and enjoyed it so much. When one of his heels broke and she was embarrassed looking at the people had seen how she's walking to outside the limb. Okay, that's it? Yes, that's it. Okay, perfect. Very good. So Sandy and I are dancing or Sandy and I were dancing? Um, Sandy and I were dancing. We're dancing. Okay, perfect, perfect. And one of the heels broke, right? Okay, perfect. Very good. Thank you, Jose Arturo. Very good job. Okay, we're going, if you don't have any question about uh, the present, uh, simple past or present continuous, past continuous, or if you don't have any questions with uh, the present perfect continuous, which uh, was the topic that we studied really fast, we're going just to have a little review and then we are going to start with the next, the, the next section, section number two. Let's see. No. <clears throat> so we are going to uh, see this. Let me see if it is possible. Okay, these are just some questions. If you have your device, you have a tablet or um, let's say a, a mobile phone, or if you have a, your computer, you can go here, joinmyquiz.com. And you just need to enter this uh, code, right? 758484. So I will share the link here on uh, here, yes. I will share it here. And you just need to write your, well, I don't know if it is going to work, but I will write here, join my quiz.com. So you just need to go there. I wrote it in the chat, join my quiz.com. And you just need to write your, your name, for example, and you need to click on start. And that's it. If you want to participate, if you don't want to participate, you can just, um, you just need to, you can just listen or, or watch the presentation, right? So join my quiz.com and to enter the game is just 758484. That's it. 
Si quieren participar, pueden ir a joinmyquiz.com y pueden ingresar el código 758484. I will share the, I have it here. Let me see here. So you can go, if you check the chat, I just send the, the link there. So we are going to start right now. This is just the present perfect continuous. That's what we are going to, to check right now. Present perfect continuous. You got stuck. What's happening? What's the code teacher? The code is uh, the code is seven five eight four eight four seven five eight four eight four. Okay. Okay. So, what? Well, how does present perfect continuous form? Let's see. What's wrong with this? Let me see here. Mm, code number is code eight four 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 eight four. I'm a join. Okay, perfect. So how does present perfect continuous form? How can we build present perfect continuous? Write your answer. How can we build present perfect continuous? Subject. How do we build it? Write your answer, please, if you are participating. And if you are not, I will give you the answer after this. Okay, time's up. Let's see. Jaime, Maria, Rosa, Jaime, let's see. <laughs> A little time. <laughs> yes, it's just a little time. It's just a review. Solo es un repaso, verdad? We are not going to to check everything. So how do we how do we build the present perfect continuous, right? Present perfect continuous is uh, these are just no questions. Like for example, positive, right? Subject plus yes. have or has plus been plus the verb in ing plus complement, right? So that's how we um, write the positive sentences and the negative just we add not right. I have been living in New Jersey or she has been taking these pills for 12 years. Let's see, next one. Okay, so this is the usage of the present perfect continuous. We use the present perfect continuous uh, like the action studied in the past, lasted and still continues as Jose Arturo mentioned before. Mary has been working at that company for three years. It has been snowing all day long. So it can be many years ago, or it can be just for today, right? Something that just started in the morning and is still going today, right? The action lasted for some time. Duration is important and the result is visible. You are so fit. Have you been exercising? Your eyes are red. Have you been crying? and also to indicate what has been going on lately or recently. Recently, I have been feeling really tired. Mary has been reading too many horrors lately. So that those are just some examples, right? Let's see the next one. The Jacobs have been building a house for three years. So this is to indicate 
what has been going on lately or recently, the action started in the past, last and still continues, or the action lasted some time and the result is visible. Choose one, choose one of these. Time's up, let's see. Oh. It's uh, number two, right? The one in the middle, the action started in the past, lasted and still continues, okay? So the present perfect continues with the state verbs. Uh, verbs. We use the present perfect instead of present perfect continues with state verbs. Uh, we are not studying steady verbs uh, yet, so we are going to skip this one and also skip this question. Let's see this one. It says, she think about your offer all I know, has thought, has been thinking, have been thinking, have thought. What is the correct one? Correct. Correct. Let's see the next one. Very good, Carla. Very good, Rosa. So she has been thinking, right? She has yes. been thinking. Very good, perfect. Let's see the next one. I have strangers for about three weeks. I has been having, has had, have been having, or have had. Correct. Very good. Very good, Carla. Maria Siguenza. Very good. Jose Arturo. Very good. I have been having, right? I have been having strange dreams. We have two more. Those must. Let's see. Think up sentences in present perfect continuous by pictures, it says. Thank you. Okay, so I guess that's it. Do you want to end the lessons now? So in this case, the winner was participants view. I guess it was Maria Siguenza, right? Let's see if it is showing this. Yes, we are we are going to see her the top scores. Maria Siguenza is the first place. The second one is Carla, and the third one is Jose Arturo, okay? Very good. And then Jaime Reyes, Jaime Hernandez, and Rosa Esmeralda. Very good, very good. So I thought that you had any uh, questions about this, so I just plan to review it. So thank you for playing the game. We're going to play later, and I will share this information um, today, right? Later, after the class. So now we're going to go to the next section. Have you checked the, the platform? Ya vieron la plataforma? Have you been checking for the section two? Yes. Okay, we are going to check that right now. Uh, Eric, did you have problems with the platform? No, I didn't. You were able to access to the platform then? Yes, yeah, I can to enjoy it. Okay, perfect. That's good. Good news. So we are going to 
I have a lot of things here. So we are, I'm going to share it again because I have a, a, like problems sharing the screen. Now we'll share it again. Okay. Now this is the platform and I don't know if you have checked it already. You, we are going to study about the section two and also, no, sorry, section three, good book, terrible movie, and also the midterm test. Have you checked this uh, audio already? Have you checked yes. the conversation? Yes, right. What was the conversation about? Did you check this conversation? What's playing? Let's see here. So we have this conversation and we are going to know what we are going to talk about this section, okay? Details. What's playing? Part A, listen and practice. Are you able to listen to it? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, okay, perfect. That will play it. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. Okay, what was the conversation about? De qué se trató la conversación? What was the conversation about? The movie. Um, a very, very boring movie. <laughs> a very um, boring movie. So they, they were trying or they, they were discussing about what, what movie was boring or which one was exciting. Yes, James Bond is is exciting, but the last movie of James Bond was very boring. Was really boring, exactly. So they wanted to watch a movie, right? They were trying to decide which movie to watch, James, a James Bond film. And also um, they mentioned a new Stephen King's movie, right? Stephen King's uh, movie based on the novel of Stephen King. And uh, at the end, what they decided to do? What did they do? Which movie did they watch? Um, a Berry movie. A, 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 a Halle Berry movie? movie? A Halle Berry movie? Yes. Okay, let's listen to it again. We are going to listen to it again because they don't, uh, they don't watch a Halle Berry movie. At the end of the conversation, it's not here. No está aquí. It's not, uh, we are not able to uh, hear. And it's, they say, I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress, right? They want to watch the Halle Berry movie. But did they watch it? 
Yes, no, what happened? We are going to listen to it again and then you tell me the, the answer. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Okay, now they decided to watch a Halle Berry movie. Now listen and let me know what they decided to do. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Okay, so what they decided to do at the end? Watch TV. Watch TV, exactly. Why? At night. Yes, but why they decided to watch TV? Because Halle Berry movie is not showing. It's not showing in the movie theater anymore, right? They stopped. They stopped showing it. Very good. Perfect. Now we're going to practice the conversation because this in this um, unit, we are going to talk about movies, right? It's a very exciting topic. Now the movies are on trend. So we are going to practice the conversation. We, are go we already listened to the pronunciation, but we are just going to practice this part, okay? So um, can somebody help me reading the conversation again, please? Alguien que quiera participar con la conversación? Me teacher. Um, Okay, Maria Siwenza, and who else? Me. Okay, Me. Jose Arturo. And then we have Rosa Esmeralda, okay? Okay, Maria Siwenza, you can, no, Jose Arturo, you begin, and then Carol will be Maria Siwenza. You can go ahead. Let's listen. Okay. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe what's playing. Um, how about, how about the new James Bond film? I, I hear it really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. Hmm. What about the movie has been a, a movie based on the Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Uh, well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Harry Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, perfect, perfect. I will make it bigger because it seems that you have some problems reading it. So let me see here. Perfect, perfect. Congratulations, really good. So let's uh, check some of the words, right? Uh, it says, how about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. And then it says, what movie, what about the movie based, right? Based on Stephen King's new novel, Basado, right? Base. Película basada en una novela, ¿verdad? The movie based on Stephen King's new novel. 
Now, then we have um, another word that we can check is usually, usually, usualmente, right? An adverb, usually fascinating, usually fascinating. Another word in Spanish is horror, right? Horror, películas de horror, but in English, horror, right? Horror movies. I don't like horror movies, right? I don't like horror movies. Then I'm interested, right? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. It looks. So try to pronounce the yes at the end, but actually it was really good. Now, let's see. I guess the next one was Rosa, right? Rosa, you wanted to practice the conversation? Mm. Or did you have a question? No, to practice conversation. Okay, practice a conversation. Who wants to help Rosa Esmeralda? Quien le quiere ayudar a Rosa Esmeralda? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead then. Okay, yes. what's you go second, okay? You go second, you go after Jaime. Okay, Jaime, go ahead. Okay, do you want to see a movie tonight? Maybe was pleasant. How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know his book are usually fantastic, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I am in, interested in the new high belly movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, perfect, very good, Jaime. Perfect, so uh, remember, right? Uh, playing, playing, what's playing? What is the meaning of that phrase? What's playing? ¿Qué significa eso? What's playing, what is the meaning? What's playing? Um, ¿qué, ¿Qué jugamos o qué, qué, a qué le damos play? <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. But let's say I'm watching, uh, you're watching television, and if I ask you, what's playing? What's playing, Jose Arturo? Como what's playing? Ver una película. Como que película vamos a ver. Ah, uh, como que película están dando. Están pasando. Pasando. Que película están pasando, exactly. Que película están ¿Cuál pasando. ¿Cuáles películas están disponibles? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Or in, in the movie theater, what's playing in the movie? What's playing? Que están dando? What's playing? Ah, uh, a James Bond film. Uh, a horror film, right? A horror film. So that's the meaning. Perfect. Fascinating. This one is fascinating. What is the meaning of fascinating? Fascinante. Fascinante, right? Usually fascinating. It's not fantastic. Fascinated. And remember, horror, right? You pronounce the H here. Horror. Interested. Horror movies. Horror movies, exactly. Interested, right? Interested. And looks, it looks good, right? Walter, you want to participate, right, Walter? Yes, teacher. Okay, who wants to participate with Walter? Quien quiere participar con él? Who wants to help him? Me, teacher. Can I, teacher? Okay, okay uh, Eric, you can go after Walter. Carla will uh, help Walter, okay? Okay. Okay, Carla, you can go ahead, Carla, uh, and uh, Walter. Okay. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm -hmm. mm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? 
I'm inter interested in the new Hailey Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She is a wonderful actress. Okay, perfect. Very good pronunciation. Very good. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Uh, remember, right? It's uh, based, based on. What is the meaning of based on? Basado. Basado en, right? Based Basado on. En. Based on true facts. Basado en hechos reales, right? Based on true facts. Um, let's see. No, normally it was okay. That, that the pronunciation is better now. The pronunciation is better, you see? So uh, what's playing, Jamesport, exciting. What is the meaning of actually? What is the meaning of actually? Who knows this? Actually. Actualmente. 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 Mm, kind of, kind of. What is the meaning of actually? Who knows? Por el momento. Por el momento. Who, who has another 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 meaning? Realmente. Realmente. Very good. Eh, realmente, exactly. Realmente o de hecho, ¿verdad? Actually no es actualmente. De hecho. Como que yo le diga de hecho o realmente la última fue aburrida, right? Actually, the last one was boring. Si yo quiero decir actualmente en in, in English is currently, right? Currently. Currently, yeah, currently. But actually is de hecho o realmente. Very good. Let's see, Sandra Cecilia, you had a question or you wanted to participate? I want to participate. Okay, Sandra Cecilia, and you will participate with Eric. Are you ready, Eric? Yes, teacher. Okay, I want perfect pronunciation, okay? Perfect pronunciation because you will be the last ones, okay? You can go ahead. <laughs> uh, want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe, what's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I heard it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie by what about the movie by son is Stephen King new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That, that's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Okay, very good. Perfect, perfect. Very good. Very good pronunciation, both of you. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, remember, based on, right? Based on, okay? Horror yes. movies was okay. Interested. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It, it looks good, right? It looks good. But I, and I hear, right? Here, what is the meaning of hear? Escuchar. Uh -huh, escuchar. What is the past of hear? What is the past of hear? Heard. Heard, exactly. So heard. heard is the past. Here is the present. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Congratulations. Now we are going to talk about a good movie. Uh, sorry, good book, terrible movie. So we have different things here. We have um, drama, that is the movie type, drama, science fiction, horror, fantasy, war, comedy, animated movies, and also action movies. Let's see. Noe, are you there, Noe? Yes, teacher. Okay, no, uh, tell me, what is the favorite genre or the, your favorite movie type? Drama, science fiction, horror, fantasy, war, comedy, animated, action movies. What is your favorite type of movie? My favorite is, is a movie action. Action movie. What is your yeah. favorite movie or what kind of action movies can you mention? 
Rumble 2. Rumble 2, okay, <laughs> very good, Rumble 2. That's a good movie, actually, Rumble movies are exciting, right? Are they exciting for you? Yes, it is. Yes. Because I, I, I can, I, I can see uh, very, very facile because I, I like uh, the action. Yes, the action yeah. scenes and everything. Then they fight and then shotguns and everything, right? Yes. Um. To uh, I I see in the movie in the is the natural space when uh um, se dice desarrolla donde se desarrolla la película. Uh, where the movie is developed. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you for your participation, Noel. Let's okay. see. Uh, Aisa, are you there? Are you there? Are you there, Aisa? Can you hear me? Aisa Ortiz, can you hear me, Aisa? No? Let's see, Walter then. Walter, are you there? Yes, teacher. What is your favorite movie type? Drama, science fiction, horror, fantasy, war, comedy, animated, or action movies? Uh, I like the war movies. War movies. War, war movies. Uh -huh. The action movies. Mm -hmm. And the horror movies too. And why do you like uh, war movies or action movies or horror movies? Uh, the war movies, uh, mm -hmm. Platoon. Platoon, that's a classic, right? Yes, yeah, I, yes. I want I want to watch the movie. It's kind of sad and kind of dramatic, right? But it's it's a classic movie, yes. And why why do you like war movies? How how do you feel when you watch a, a war movie? Uh, they are exciting they are exciting they are interesting they are i didn't know uh, i remember the the war in the country oh yes uh, that was difficult right yes yes in the uh, 70s right yes i i have heard stories where my parents because they didn't live that that time and they saw like the movies, right? They said the movies are nothing compared about what happened here in, in, in our country, right? But it was that they kill people, you have to hide. And yes, it's kind of difficult, the situation. Yes, I understand. I was so, children uh -huh. in, the, in this thing when the war. Uh, when the war started. Uh, yes, yes. You were a child. Yes, How old were you? How old were you? Around 10 years. 10 years old, okay, all, yes. All the, all the 80s. All the I, 80s. They were. Yes, I imagine that, kind of difficult. Okay, but very... the, the war movies is very, uh, very uh, emotional. Exciting? For me, exciting, exciting. yes. Exciting, uh, exciting, exciting for me. Okay, perfect, very good. Thank you for your comment, Walter. Now, I Thank want you. you to help me. Uh, these film titles we have titanic we have star wars jurassic park the lord of the rings saving private ryan home alone the lion king and spider-man titanic what kind of movie type is titanic have drama. you watched drama 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 or is it a romantic movie or is drama 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 all right a mix with a romance, romance also, right? But uh, yes, very good. Titanic is a drama movie, right? Uh, Star Wars, what kind of movie is Star Wars? Science, 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 fiction. science fiction. Very good. And Jurassic Park? <laughs> what kind of movie is Jurassic Park? Science fiction? Science fiction. Yes, it's not, science fiction. It's not hard of it. It's not horror. It's not horror Probably it has some elements, but it's it's science fiction, right? And a, a, a little bit of action, right? 
The Lord of the Rings. What kind of movie is that one? Uh, fantasy. 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 Fantasy movie. Very good. Saving Private Ryan. War. War. War, exactly. War in action, right? What is the meaning of private? Yes. What is the meaning of private? Rescatar. Ah? Rescatar. Rescatar. Uh, in Espanol, how do you say save, saving private writing? And what is the meaning of saving private writing in Spanish? Salvando, Salvando al soldado Ryan. Salvando soldado. al soldado Ryan. Very good. Yes, exactly. So saving, salvando, right? Ryan, Ryan, right? In private? Soldado. Soldado. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Soldado is private. It's another word to say soldado, soldier. Private. Oh, yeah. yeah, private. So if you're a private, you're a soldier. So saving private Ryan. Very good. Home Alone. Do you know that movie? Home Alone? It's a comedy. It's a comedy movie. And it's a Christmas movie, right? So yes. you are going to see it in, in Channel 6, in cable, in everywhere, right? Home Alone. Very good. The Lion King. What kind of movie is that one? Animated. Animated movie. Very good. And Spider-Man? Action. Action. Action movie, a superhero movie, right? Very good, perfect. Let's see. Um, so we are going to use present participles. This is the objective for this class or for tomorrow's class, let's, let's say, right? Because we just have like nine minutes. So we are going to understand present participles and past participles as adjectives, okay? So what is an adjective? Do you know what an adjective is? What can you tell me about adjectives? ¿Qué es un adjetivo in English? What is an adjective? ¿Qué hace un adjetivo? How do we use it for? For describe, maybe. Describe, very good. We use it to describe things, Compare. describe people, right? Describe objects. So they describe nouns, qualities. right? Qualities. They express qualities also. Very good. So we use adjectives and we have different kind of adjectives. We have, we can use present participles as adjectives and past participles. Let's see, Jose Arturo, can you give me an adjective? Um, an example? Mm -hmm. Adjectives. One adjective. Uh, biggest. Which one? Biggest. 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 Small. Small. Uh, biggest, like big, bigger, and biggest, right? Small. What else? What Inter other adjectives? Uh, which one? Long. Lost. Uh -huh. Loss is good. A square. A squared. A squared happy. is an happy. Happy tall. is another. Tall. Yes, tall is another adjective. What handsome. else? Sweet. Handsome, sweet. What else? Intelligent. Intelligent. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mark. Which Slow. one? Penny. Slow. It's late. Late. Penny. Penny. Early. Terrible. Which one? Huge. Uh, I don't know how to say the uh, legal in English. Thin. Slim. Thin or slim. Yeah, thin or slim. Huge. Young, exactly. So, as short, a homework, short, 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 over. Oh, very good, perfect. So, as a homework, <laughs> yeah, it is exactly. So, as a homework, I want you to bring three adjectives that you, you don't know tomorrow, right? So we are going to have a list. Tomorrow you have to investigate three adjectives, only three. And you will tell me the adjectives, but new adjectives. We already uh, checked about uh, beautiful, tall, late, uh, terrible, thin, slim. We know all of that, big, bigger, biggest, right, the biggest. 
we know that. But uh, three adjectives that we don't know. We don't know, okay? That's what we're going to study. We are going to create a little list to increase our vocabulary. And we are going to review about adjectives tomorrow, right? We're going to, this is like an, a small introduction. An adjective describes a noun, as you already said. An example, the white. White is an adjective, right? Cat is the noun. The white cat ran away from John. The movie was really exciting, emocionante, right? The movie was really exciting. Very good. So um, we are going to study participles. Participles, participios. We can use participles as verbs and adjectives. And you can find this in the platform. Esto lo pueden encontrar en la plataforma, right? For example, um, participles, we have present and past participles. Present participles are the ones that end in ing. They end with ing. Exciting, for example, is an adjective or is a present participle. Is an adjective or a present participle used as an adjective. It describes a noun, right? And a past participle, we can add ed, right? Excited. It's an adjective and it describes a, a feeling of a noun. So it's different, right? You see, exciting, excited. Exciting, excited. Are those adjectives? Yes, they are adjectives. But they are different, right? Present participle, past participle, okay? So we are going to study about this tomorrow. But what you have to do is just to bring the, the five adjectives. Adjectives. Uh, I will ask you, le voy a preguntar de esto mañana para ver si tienen preguntas. I will ask you about this tomorrow. And we are going to check the differences, okay? Between, for example, exciting and excited. What do you think the difference is? Okay. ¿Cuál, creen que, ajá, ¿cuál es el, creen que sea la diferencia? What is the difference between exciting and excited? Excited is a, is a part, is a past participle. It's a past participle. That is one of the differences. And exciting is a present, right? A present participle. Very good. Present participle. So also the meaning is different. The meaning, emocionante. Excited, emocionado. Excited, emocionado, right? So uh, excited, let's say, it describes the feeling of a noun. El sentimiento de alguien, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel? I feel excited. I am excited because of the movie. I am excited because the English class, right? I am excited. And exciting, is it describes a noun, right? A movie is exciting. So una cosa puede ser emocionante, right? Pero yo me siento emocionado. So that is the difference, right? We are going to talk about this tomorrow. I don't want to confuse you a little bit more, so... I don't know if you have any questions about this class, preguntas acerca de la clase, vocabulary about the, the conversation or about the types of the movies. Questions? Questions about this? Adjectives? Questions about the homework? Hmm. No questions. No uh, question. Also, another homework will be uh, try to remember uh, series or movies that you like for the class, right? Uh, during the week, we are going to talk about movies, right? Like if you like this movie or if you like you don't like a movie, right? Or if you remember uh, a movie that you watch, it was really good. If you would like to recommend a movie, try to write it down or try to think about it and uh, bring, uh, We I, I will ask you right, right later in the week, I will ask you about that that movie or that series that you want to recommend or you want to talk about because we are going to talk about movies, okay? So that will be uh, the class for today. If you don't have any questions, I will see you tomorrow. Gracias por su esfuerzo. Y por, uh -huh. Go ahead, uh, Maria. Uh, of, of the movie, yeah, the homework for the movie is for tomorrow. No, for tomorrow, no. It's, it's just for the rest of the week. Traten de pensar en, en alguna película que les haya gustado para este o traten de revisar o recordarse quiénes son los actores y en la semana les voy a preguntar yo de esa película.
okay. For tomorrow, it's just the adjectives, right? Three adjectives for tomorrow, three. Okay. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for your effort and your commitment, okay? I will see you tomorrow and have a nice night, okay? Thank you, Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.